What's up guys? <coughs> Welcome to the show. Sorry about that. Uh, so I figured I'd keep up with the whole kind of survival thing and um, do a review on this. This is my uh, survival axe, my survival hatchet. And I call it a survival hatchet because this is the hatchet that uh, I actually have in my survival backpack or my hiking backpack. This is the hatchet that I actually use. Uh, so we'll go off and this is actually not the original sheath for it. Uh, the sheath that came with it really didn't work out for what I needed. So off the bat, um, when it first opened it up, uh, it's just a, it's just one of those kind of really generic hatchets that you get at like Home Depot, Canadian Tire. They're just, they, they really are labeled as like camp axes. They're really very inexpensive. They, they're like a kind of a rubber, like a hardened rubber handle uh, with like an aluminum type, uh, you know, kind of shaft here, which, <coughs> which does feed into the handle. Uh, and of course it has, you know, this is the ax itself. Now off the bat, um, I was kind of skeptical on it, even before I used it, like when it came out of the package, it was really, really dull. It didn't have that edge on it. That edge, I ended up actually getting put on it. Uh, I ended up getting it put on it, getting it sharpened. I, I got to clean it up. It, it's been used quite, quite well. But I had that edge put on it. I had it sharpened. That's, that's, it didn't come with that kind of edge there. That was like put on it by a, a second party. Um, yeah, so when it came out of there, I was like, okay, this will be something that maybe will, will replace my chopper. Uh, in my survival backpack because it's super super small like this is the length of it it's it's probably about a foot in length um i didn't like the sheet that came with because it came with like a a little kind of cloth sheet that doesn't didn't stay on so i, I got this sheet right here that guy right there it works really well so well, after i got it sharpened i used it for the first time Yesterday, I went out to the woods and I did some survival stuff. Um, I basically, I, I did up a lot of chopping because uh, I built a shelter. I built a fire. I did a lot of chopping with this. I, I did a lot of hammering with this as well. So it was quite used quite well. So off the bat, I have to say, out of the package, it came dull and I was just kind of really unimpressed with it. When I got it sharpened and I used it for the first time, I actually became very impressed with it. I really, really liked this axe. Maybe because the guy did such a good job at putting the edge on it, but it, it chopped really, really well. I was surprised because I thought when I would chop and chop and chop, I'd get a lot of vibration in the handle because usually with these kind of steel and aluminum type shafts, you get a lot of vibration coming in, in the handle and you feel that through the hand. I didn't feel that with this at all. I didn't feel any vibration whenever I struck uh, the log or the tree that I chopped down. And I actually chopped down some pretty big trees with that. I built a lean-to shelter and the log that I chopped around, it was about that long. And this took through that with quite a bit of ease. I was actually impressed that I didn't have to go nuts chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping. It was actually able to take a tree about that big down quite with with a lot of ease i was actually quite impressed even smaller trees like i did kind of smaller ones kind of like that and like bigger ones like that and this one did it with a lot of ease i was actually very impressed with it uh the the price tags on these they're they're very cheap like i said they're they're about 10 12 dollars like i said a lot of them have different brands on these Camp Axe is usually like the thing that they're mostly called. Right here, I haven't used that, but you know, you, you could use that to kind of 
pry up like handles, use that as a wire cutter, you know, the different options for using that right there. Uh, I used it as a hammer and the hammer on the back worked really, really well. I set up a, a pot holder uh, for a pot. I just kind of took a, a tree and kind of cut an, a, like a notch into it. And, and I cut that notch out with actually this. And this did really, really well at cutting that notch out. Like I said, super, super good. Made it really, really easy. Out of hatchets and axes, this one was one of the easier ones that I actually had because of the fact that it is super super lightweight like it it, it really if, if you were to ask me like oh how much does this weigh i probably would say half a pound at most like that's how it feels a lot of the weight feels like it's very well distributed uh throughout here like i feel it kind of more in this area than i do anywhere else which means that it has a lot of good pullback to it and it's got a lot of good force driving through it because it has this as working as pressure. So, I mean, it it really did really, really well. I was quite surprised. I figured I'd be out there and I'd just be chopping, 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 chopping. It would take me at least, I figured it'd take me at least 20, 30 strikes to get through to anything. But no, this actually was really quick. It was cutting stuff like butter. Like I said, I only used it for the one day of, of survival. And as you could tell, it, it does need to be cleaned up since then. It, it kind of took a little bit of a, of a beating on that one day of use. So... I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm curious to kind of keep using this one and do like a year uh, later review just to kind of see like exactly, you know, how well this did throughout that year. Because I don't think that this one is going to really, really last me like a whole long of a time. Like I can't see this one lasting me years and years and years and years. Uh not at being kind of my main survival tool or at least one of my main survival tools because of course my survival uh, knife and this paired together are my two main survival tools. So this being one of the main ones, I can't really see getting a whole long time out of it uh, just because of the beating that it kind of took within that one day. But we'll, we'll see. It feels great in the hand. I've had uh, hatchets before that have felt a little bit weird. Didn't feel it feel really too great. I didn't feel tired or anything like that. Like after I was doing my, my chopping. Because like I said, with this, I, I, I was able to, you know, uh, take out, uh, make kindling for a fire. I was able to take bigger, you know, logs for a fire. I was able to split with this really well. I was able to, uh, which was surprised me with the splitting. I didn't think I would able to split as good as I did, but I, I was able to split really, really well with this, um, which shocked me because uh, I didn't think it had it in it, but it actually did really, really well. So I was able to do that. I was able to process a lot of great firewood with it. I was then able to uh, build a shelter with this really, really well. I was then able to build a pot holder with this. And like I said, uh, with all doing all that, expending all that energy, I still, at the end of the day, my arms weren't sh sore from chopping. My hands weren't sore from chopping. Like I, I didn't even really feel it, which is kind of a surprise. So this is a really, really great chopper. As far as hatchets are concerned, would I give it like on a scale of one to 10, of course, like zero being like, don't buy it. It's total garbage. 10 being run out and buy it today. This is really a must. I'd give it about a 9.5 really, because the reason that I don't give it a perfect 10 was because of the sheath that it actually came with. It, uh, if it came with like something like this sheath right here, that would have been awesome. Like, oh, I would have given it a perfect 10, but just the sheath that it came with was just a really terrible sheath. And then I need a good sheath because this stays in my um, survival pack. Uh, and I get, you know, I, I don't want it kind of cutting through or tearing anything in that pack. I, I want to keep it, you know, 
nice. Uh, I want to keep it well protected. So uh, I would have given it a perfect 10 out of 10 if it had a better sheath. But like I said, you, you buy these for anywhere from like 10 to 12 bucks. They're just cheap hatchets, but they're really, really good. Uh, they're surprisingly really, really well for what the money is, you know. Uh, this one is a, a, a Coleman. Like I said, they, they have a bunch of different names when it comes to them. You buy them like no-name axes that hatchets. They'll be these guys. A lot of them are, um, you know, uh, camping axes. This is a Coleman axe. So, yeah, I mean, but anyway, uh, it was a great hammer, like I said, uh, as well. Uh, as you can tell, it, it kind of took a beating on that part as well for hammering so we'll see in the long run how she does but yeah that's the video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll check the next one